Hey, D'Amico's Be Cloud Engineers, Black in the Cloud. So the question that I get most often is, D'Amico's, what is a cloud engineer? I see you posting all this cool stuff. I see you, you know, posting going out to eat all the time, these nice places. I see you posting all this tech news about billion dollars being spent here and there, job opportunities, career opportunities. But what is a cloud engineer? All right, well, a cloud engineer is a professional who maintains continuation of cloud computing. All right, make that real simple for you. Professional who maintains continuation of cloud computing. Well, what is cloud computing? Cloud computing is just a cluster of servers. That's really all it is. Cluster of, of servers that are globally available and highly scalable to consumers needs. That's all it is. That's all cloud computing is. Just a cluster of, of servers that are globally around the globe, meaning from here, North America, back to North America, right? globe that are uh, highly available, meaning they're available anywhere around the globe, and they're highly scalable, meaning they go up and down in computing needs and resources at a whim, at a snap of a finger, all right, based on the consumer's needs. The consumer is me, people like me and you who check, who check our Instagram, who check our YouTube, who check our any application, phone application, web application, uh, uh, job application, you know, uh, bank deposit, whatever, you know, um, any applic techno technical application that requires a server, a cloud, a cluster of those cloud servers. All right. So that's what uh, cloud computing is. And that's who uh, cloud engineers are. Now, the thing about maintaining the continu continuation of cloud computing, um, it, those that that continuation can be a plethora of cloud jobs. Cloud engineer isn't just one job. It's really just an umbrella name of multiple jobs that it takes to keep a cloud server or cloud environment or cloud computing processes running, all right? So you can be a cloud migration engineer. You can be a cloud security engineer who protects the cloud. Cloud migration engineer converts on-premise servers to the cloud. A cloud security engineer protects the cloud. You can be a cloud data engineer. Uh, 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 a cloud, a big data engineer who does a lot of data mining, who, who does a lot of, you know, uh, of, of protecting data, data, data privacy, as far as giving, and as well as give insight on cus consumer data for a company. You can be uh, someone who maintains the cloud to build it, to make it more expansive, more robust, which is a cloud infrastructure engineer, which is what I do currently. All right. You can be a, a cloud. You can do, be non-technical roles such as cloud salesmen. They sell, they sell cloud computing to various companies or various parts of the cloud. You can be a TAM. That's also a non-technical role. You know, you can be, uh, which is a technical account manager. You're a pre-sales engineer. You can be a UXI designer, cloud UXI designer. A cloud, like, it's a, uh, it's, again, cloud engineer is the umbrella of roles that are all required on con the continuation of cloud computing, all right? There's literally dozens of dozens of dozens of role titles that will have different names, all right? Matter of fact, in my cloud blueprint, I basically show you how to complete a career path of 12 specific roles, right? The 12 general roles in cloud that you can pursue to build out a cloud career for you. So that's what it is. Um, the average cloud engineer makes about 121 a year. Um, and you don't have to have a degree in getting in this field. You don't have to. Many don't, in fact. I don't have a degree. Um, and uh, you know, the only the, th the thing that weighs heavy in this in this industry, unlike any other industry, is our certifications and experience. All right, you so you go get certified, you study for your certification. There's ultimate amount of courses out there, um, training out there, boot camps out there, whatever. Um, you go get your certifications. Should honestly, it should it, for a person that doesn't know anything about tech, should take you anywhere from from a month to two months at most. To get a certification to if you know zero things about tech if your person is tech savvy it should take you at least a month all right if it takes you more than two months there's a lot of procrastination being involved um in your situation that's causing you to prolong getting your certification how i know that because i've been there remember i failed 
three times my certification, okay, before I got my first one. Um, uh, also, um, experience. You get the experience by doing, uh, building your lab, building your portfolio, all right? You go on YouTube, you go on Google, you can easily find a free lab relative to the cloud career path that you're on. Um, and as well as when you get your first entry level cloud job, you're building your experience. So it's kind of, it's virtually easy to gain experience, one, especially once you get your first entry level cloud job. Now, if you get in the industry trying to get, trying to skip that process and get your middle tier level or senior level career cloud job, you're going to have a hard time because you don't have the experience and the chops of what it takes to maintain those higher level positions. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, Cloud engineer, D'Amico's, be cloud engineers, black in the cloud. Post your questions below and comments.